need to smoke that girl. Let's go. So, hello, it's already Anna back for yet another video, and I hope you guys are having a great time and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> to my new subscribers and my old subscribers there is what going on in town that there is a crazy content creator in youtube and i was like who is that please show me who that person is and they're like bitch you better look in the mirror you're the one i was like oh bitch i did not even know that i didn't see that coming honey so i'm ready to do this how are you guys doing let me know in the comments below guys are we ready 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 I am ready to get into a video for you guys today, but first, this is what I'm wearing. I'll be giving them, I'll be giving them. I feel like dancing today. So let's do this. It's top influencers that look freaking different from what they look like in real life. I was like, oh, I am young for me. <laughs> so are you guys ready just come here and have fun with me and please 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 forget about the haters forget about the negativity and the beauty community and all the dramas we are here to put positivity in this freaking <laughs> youtube youtube needs positivity it's too much of the craziness and i am not here for that i am here for let's do this no, 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 chum, 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 chum. That's what I'm here for. So I want to see what is going on. Paper magazine wrote in a September okay. 2019 issue that we have forgotten what human faces actually look like, Ooh. and they're not wrong. We see such altered human beings, both yes. in photos and Give in me. person, that we've started equating beauty with a standard that is unachievable by natural means, yeah. unachievable without going under the knife, and unachievable without editing our photos to the point where we look unrecognizable. Honey. That's gravy. You're Watching I.O. I'm trying to coming at you with a part three. I just series. walked my ass off time here. to get. Hey, thanks for taking out another one of our videos. I know that for those of you who have been keeping Ooh, up with this the series, beating. these videos have helped your the self esteem, and that's all they're meant to do. They're not meant to bash anybody, make anybody yes. feel bad for editing their photos. But what? when you look at the photos side by side between edited and unedited, like, I feel like people don't realize how the, much they're actually changing themselves. Right, and the pressure so they put on said, people following the them. Influencers who look nothing like their photos in real life. I love her. In a 10, Lindsay I love her because first she's like, guys, I'm here to tell you the truth. And it's true, but don't take it personal. I love that. And that person, I tell people the truth. Lindsay is a model, actress, and influencer with 9 million followers on Instagram. Ooh. According to her Instagram bio, she is genetically gifted. Hey. Girl. Her words, not mine. <laughs> Lindsay is beautiful, no, as are all of the women She's on this gorgeous. list. But Lindsay is a big fan of the Facetune, my friends. Oh. Here's a side by side. The photo on the left is from her Instagram page. The photo on the right is from a red carpet event. Now, this one isn't as drastic as some yes, of the other influencers she looks on this list. Way. She still resembles herself in the edited images, but you can That's see how it. she's using blurring and highlights right. to change the shape of her face. So it looks like a Barbie doll face. Right. She's still stunning, but not quite the person That's that we see in Instagram in real life. Girl. In at nine, Norvina. Norvina, aka is on. the beautiful Claudia Sore, has 1.6 million followers on Instagram. You may recognize her as the president of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes. She Yes, I've heard about well known him. makeup artist in the game. Yes. Norvina's photos are perfect. There are literally no imperfections whatsoever. But even Norvina, as beautiful as she is, doesn't look the way she does in the photos she posts on Instagram. Oh, wow. Norvina was recently at a red carpet event where the good people of Getty Images were there. As I said in part one, of the series, Getty Images photographers yes. don't edit their images, but they're often at high profile events. Anyone can access the Getty Images database. The photo on the left is what she looked like on Instagram. And the photo on the Wait. right is what she looks like without editing. No. But she's still so stunning either way, but these two photos don't yeah. look like the same person. What? At number eight on our Okay, list. guys, the other one looks like she's, um, huh. One looks like she's in her mid 30s, and the other one looks like she's. 18 or 19 Guys We are in trouble Woo! The pressure is on you are sign me out. Aubrey O'Day is a singer-songwriter and television Oh my god. She was a I have heard about her. She making the band back in 2005. She yes. has 139,000 followers on Instagram. From her photos, you would never feel like anything is amiss. Everything normal? Yep. 
Get her yes. lips. Nothing amiss. But her Ariana nose. Grande was recently at a premiere for Marriage Boot Camp, and photos of her from the event show a very different Aubrey from what you see on the gram. Ooh. Aubrey has gone under the knife. That is no so secret. Many times but it's clear these images that she doesn't look a heck of a lot like she does on Instagram. Now, at all. She? In a seven, Miss Andrea G, aka Andrea oh G. God, the Andrea, the queen so of swimwear, like as she calls crazy. herself, has 254,000 followers on Instagram. Oh. From her photos, she, she looks, looks like she's so got an absolutely rockin' body oh, and a lifestyle yes. that most of us would dream of yes. having. I mean, does she ever come off that young? Oh, I wouldn't. But there's something about her this photo that looks a little too good to be true. Take this one with the dub. Right. Uh, Wait, I don't what? think that bird is real. No. And you know what else isn't real? Oh, that's big. In at six, no. Selena Celine is an influencer based in Zurich with 160,000 followers. I feel on okay now with this myself one is watching this. Doozy, yo. You can tell from her pictures that they are Shoot edited. Alien. She does not look like a real life human being. Uh, yes. And it was also hard for me to find any images that were appropriate to share. <laughs> Before, I didn't even know she was going to say that. I just said she looks alien, and then she said she does not look like. <laughs> Like a human. Here, because her posts are quite saucy, but Celine also posts videos where she looks absolutely nothing like her photo. Oh, she looks like you gorgeous. can see that she doesn't. So I'm not sure if she cares that people can see a difference. But uh, yeah, here's a photo like, of her on Instagram side by side. No. Screenshot from her video. When I was researching this video, I also found out that Celine looked very different a few years ago. <gasps> Let's bring up a transformation. Oh no Shelly. way! Yep, that's Stop. definitely different. <laughs> and number five, I Sahara definitely. Ray. Sahara she's, Ray is a model with 1.2 million followers she's, she's, on Instagram, and she's got her own swim line. You probably remember her as being one of Justin Bieber's exes. I'm oh, pretty I sure do, she was I the one her. that was like with the naked photos of Justin Bieber. Oh, remember I that whole waterfall thing? Yeah, I yeah. think that was her. Anyways, I found some photos of her at a recent appearance at Girl Cult Festival in Los Angeles. I she looks totally unrecognizable. She I love how you how she goes and finds these stars because I didn't even know her. I love that the fact that she goes and finds them and you're like, wait, what? Like it's shocking to me seeing this. It really absolutely is. Absolutely nothing like the person no. she posts on Insta. Now, I'm pretty sure she had a little bit of work done recently, so I'm not sure if these photos accurately reflect what she looks like now. But when I saw these pictures of her, they reminded me of Elba Presley from part one. Can we make up a pic? I'm sorry, but don't these two women look like the exact yeah. same person? Are y'all using the same editing app or what? Because these are two completely different women. In a for Sora Jabu Selig on Instagram, crazy. but she says her name is Sarah. She's a model with 374,000 followers. There's all kinds of weird wonky things going on in her post. Post. This is what she looks like on Instagram, and this is what she looks like in person. Stop it! You really get a feel for how much she edits her photos when you look at her edited pics next to a screenshot of right. video. I also found she some stock images face. taken of her that show a very so different points. person. Although apparently Neymar, like a uh, football star Neymar, wow. doesn't seem to mind. Apparently he sent a private plane for her so she could visit him in Barcelona. I wonder if he was looking at photos of her on Instagram. <laughs> Oh, she, she the went from white to black. Over 42,000 followers on Instagram. From recent photos, she looks like a black woman. But exactly. if you look at older photos, it becomes clear that Dirty she's Hippie white. is actually a white woman. Yes. A white woman who clearly likes tanning a lot. And actually, she's on one of our... <laughs> I love her! I love her! I love her! One of my I'm favorite so... accounts, Beauty Falls, recently exposed her. Here are some side-by-side -side images that show just wow. how much she edits her face. And here's Ooh. an image that shows just how much she edits her body. The image on the left is taken from Stop her Instagram it. page. The image on the right is from Barcroft. Okay, when these people edit their photos, do they feel that someone will never see them in real life? Guys, look at me. This is what I look like and this I will consider this the biggest of me because in the winter I have to be like this. This have this little so that way I can withstand the cold. But I have this. And I love them. You see that? They're giving me that. I love that. Like I'm skinny but I have adult booty and I have this. <laughs> You know, those, I don't know if I'll call them, what to call them, but I got that from my mom and I'm happy with that. Like, I'm like, hey mom, you know what? You know, like, I'm, guys, let me see. I hope I don't get demonetized, but yeah, duh. Like, it's not, I, uh, ay, 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 like, 
Why would you like, bro? <laughs> that waist is tiny. People always want like short people cuts. Waist that small or so what did? Like if you've had a waist that tiny, I commend you. I just know for the majority of women, a waist like this is completely unattainable. Right. Really like, unattainable naturally for Hannah as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Ola Farahat. Beautiful Ola Farahat has 1 million followers on Instagram. Ola is a fashion blogger based in Dubai, one of the most famous influencers in the Middle East. Yeah, Her lifestyle is pretty kidding. much as bougie as you can get. But because she's got a bougie lifestyle, she goes to a lot of events. The events pleasure. with their Getty Images photographers. Here oh. side by sides. Like, I really want to make sure my viewers know that I'm not calling these women ugly in person. No, no, no. They're she's beautiful. Gorgeous. They just don't, don't look the way they do in their right. photos. They, and the number one on our list, Khloe Kardashian. Oh. Oh, yeah, I had the one She is one of the biggest celebrities and influencers on this list who's been exposed time and time again for her excessive use of Photoshop and editing apps. I mean, she does belong to a family who's known for altering their appearance. Yeah. When you got people like Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and Kendall Jenner in your family, yeah. I mean, she probably feels the need to keep up with them. But yeah. she does go a bit overboard with the editing, and I'm you can so see a difference girl. both on TV yeah. and in unedited images published by red carpet photographers. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if it were for the Kardashians, a lot of us wouldn't feel the need to get plastic surgery. Right. Photos because we wouldn't be trying to keep up with beauty standards they have set. For the I rest know. Of the world. the Kardashians are some of the most notorious users of Photoshop. Oh, you know I mean, girl. Know about the plastic surgery. Oh, so yes, before honey. Before I wrap up this video, I <laughs> when they like said they didn't do anything to their lips, then they said they confessed. Like, lots of followers, which is nice. I'm also getting some mean comments and DMs from people who are meticulously looking at my photos and trying to figure out if I use Photoshop. <laughs> hypocrite if they can detect any editing whatsoever. So oh my videos, these videos are not meant to criticize people who use Photoshop. Come on, man. I know people edit their photos. I've done it. But there's no, a very don't. big difference between someone who retouches to correct small imperfections and someone who edits yeah. to the point where they are Still completely okay unrecognizable. It By just, all I means, don't have the energy to do that. It makes you feel better about yourself. I personally do you have people? learned my lesson but when it comes to editing and I do recognize the impact Instagram has on mental health. And I'm going to do my best yeah. to set a good example going forward. Okay. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got that up. <laughs> I don't know, like 90, 80% of these people, I have to say that to like 95% of these people, I don't even know them, not so I'm like, wait, so what are you, I'm like, wait, who are these, you know, so it's shocking to me, because I can only imagine the following they have, then they're not keeping it real, guys, like I say, always be real to yourself, be true, because... I'm an open book, you know why? Because I don't want someone saying, oh no, back in 2009, you were like this, you were like that, and, and now girl, you better like, scroll back to 2009, you'll see that I'm, I'm that, yeah, I'm that, yeah, I'm that queen, like, I don't, whoo, ah, I can't wait to see you guys soon in the next video, and from Sabri, and that's it, yes.